going out to the Bay boys. They spent a first round pick on Trey Lance, a top five pick. Everything they gave up for him, and we still have them in the conversation for uh, Super Bowl. It's pretty impressive, actually. Um, well, and yeah, they also just spent a third round pick on a kicker. Going out to the Bay Boys. We're going to shred some NAR dogs. Fucking 49ers. Pardon my language. Uh, 49ers, they're, they're a very interesting team this year. I, I, I think the most interesting part of their team is what quarterback are they going to go with? Uh, they got three options there. All three of them could see time this, this year. Um, who knows? They could trade a couple of them away, too. Uh, we could see. Um, but the offense is, is a pretty dynamic offense. I think they're very dangerous. You look at Debo, you look at Christian McCaffrey, you look at Kittle, you look at Brandon Ayuk. Uh, I mean, and their offensive line is a pretty good offensive line. I'm looking at it right now. They don't, they don't, I feel like they don't really have too many holes on the offensive line. Defensively, uh, you're going to talk about this team as one of the better defenses in the league, uh, led by Nick Bosa and Eric Armstead. I think there's a lot of other players we could talk about on this defense. I just highlighted two of them there. Um, but I think this team could go very far possibly even a Super Bowl run. Um, scary to see on the field. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, this offense is absolutely dynamic. It seems like no matter who plays a quarterback, um, I mean, how about it, – it's crazy, like, how egos did not play in here, you know, where they said Brock Purdy, the undrafted guy, is going to be the starter if he's healthy. Not Trey Lance, the guy they, they traded up, gave up a lot of resources for to draft number three overall. Um, and even though, even then, it's a very odd situation. I mean, Brock Purdy did look better last year. Does he run the offense better, or what's the case there? Um, you know, they took Trey Lance for his upside, and now they don't really have that because they're not going to be playing him. I'm very curious to see what their plan is with him if he doesn't end up starting, which seems to be every indication right now. But yeah, you covered it with the weapons. I mean, McCaffrey, Debo, Ayuk, like they're they're all incredible targets. Kittle. Um, the best fullback in the league, in my opinion, in, in Juszczyk. Oh, man, I always <laughs> screw up his name. But, um, yeah, the offensive line is pretty good. I do think McGlinchey is a big loss up there, so I am curious to see um, what they have for that. That is one thing that could mess up the offense besides injuries. You know, obviously the 49ers had kind of, kind of bad injury luck the last several years, so um, – along with McCaffrey as well. So, like, if he goes down, that could completely change the team. Um, really, those are the big barriers to them winning the division. On the defensive side, the other one I'm kind of concerned about is the secondary. Um, other than Ward, there really isn't a lot of strong people back there. Now, obviously, having Nick Bosa, the rush the passer, and and Fred Warner and all those guys kind of helped cover up that whole lot. But, um, but yeah, the secondary is probably the biggest concern of the team. Matt? Um, <clears throat> like like Chad said, the, the biggest question mark is what quarterback are they going to go with? Like, they're so deep. Like, if Brock Purdy comes out and just shits the bed, they have Trey Lance or Sam Darnold. And I think in this offense with Kyle Shanahan, Sam Darnold can actually get to where he needs to be to not be labeled as a long-term bust. Um, given he has two, so many weapons. Well, yeah, and given two, two terrible offensive lines in New York and uh, Carolina, there is still a small chance that he does perform very, very well uh, for the Niners. He could end up taking the job. I think what the Niners are going to do is it's Brock Purdy's job to lose, but it's anybody's ball game. Um, offensive line, yeah, the, the there is a huge loss with McGlinchey. Um, and then it's definitely going to come down to who's going to get the ball more. McCaffrey, Debo, or Ayuk, um, and or Kittle. Uh, there's a lot of weapons on this offense. Defensively, when you look at their front eight, uh, front seven, they're really they're they're pretty stacked. Um, they're pretty deep too. And then when you go to the secondary, they have Tashawn Gibson, who I'm pretty sure is mid thirties at this point. Um, yeah. Kind of gone downhill a little bit, I think. Traverius Ward, who played well in Kansas City, but um, can he play uh, the same caliber here? Um, 
I think he played there last year, but yeah, I have them going on a potential Super Bowl run. I think it's going to be Eagles and Niners again in the NFC Championship. I would totally agree with that. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see because, I mean, last year's game was kind of a, a dud because the 49ers had like the worst first quarter in the Fourth history of the NFL. Um, well, and yeah, they also just spent a third round pick on a kicker. Right. Yeah, they, so, they did spend an early pick. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, completely I think, forgot they spent a third rounder on the kicker. You want to talk yeah, about they, draft picks they spent? They spent a first round pick on Trey Lance, a top five pick, and and we're he's really not in the conversation right now as a starter. Um, I not know really he's, not. he's he's not practicing yet, is he? Uh, I don't know. I he's been practicing. Yeah, he's been practicing. Um, but, and, you know, and people have been taking videos of some of the of the practice, and they have not said good things about it. But yeah, you never know with the beginning of training camp how all that goes. But um, for I've having him not very pan out. Negative. Yeah, talking about an investment just being thrown away at that point, you know. For having him not pan out, everything they gave up for him, and we still have them in the conversation for uh, Super Bowl, it's pretty impressive, actually. Right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for as much as he has not panned out so far, then – you may have to find a diamond in the rough here in Brock Purdy, apparently. Um, that kind of offset it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brock Purdy. 